In 2018, Tima Sobi along with Sony Interactive released Astrobot Rescue Mission for the PlayStation 4 VR. It was an instant hit and received critical acclaim for its amazing 3D graphics, varied level design, and its use of the DualShock 4 controller. I can't tell you how many hours I spent wearing the PlayStation 4 VR playing this game. I loved it so very much that I finished it over six times and kept wishing for more of the cute little bot character. Well, my wish came true in 2020 as Sony and Tima Sobi offered Astro's Playroom pre-installed on the PlayStation 5, serving as a free tech demo for the new DualSense controller. The game was short though and provided access to five worlds which were themed after components of the console and really showed off the use of the DualSense controller. The graphics looked amazing compared to the PS4 VR rescue mission and the audio quality blew me away as I could hear things all around me in a 360 sound bubble that really immersed me into the game. I really liked the jungle level and would just sit Astrobot there listening to the GPU song all the time. I spent hours playing this as well, and finished it over 10 times as I waited and waited hoping for a full Astrobot game to be released. And I know I'm not the only one that's been waiting. Many people out there love Astrobot and been hoping for a full game. Well, the time has finally come. Team Asobi has just released Astrobot, the third game in the series. And this one features a mass of 80 levels across 6 galaxies on 50 planets. Finally, the cute little bot stars in his own full-fledged console game for the first time. And let me tell you, it's good. This time around... Astro and his bot buddies are flying through space in their PlayStation 5 ship when an alien comes and attacks them. Ripping open the ship, he pulls out the CPU and it causes the ship to explode, scattering bots all over the universe and sends the ship crashing down into a planet. Your mission is to fly on your DualSense controller rocket to all six galaxies, exploring the 50 planets and rescuing your buddies while also searching for PlayStation 5 parts to repair your ship. Of the 300 bots scattered throughout, 150 of them are VIP bots. These are bots that are modeled off of famous PlayStation characters, and trying to find them is a little bit of a challenge, but a lot of fun also. Once again, the game uses the DualSense controller, and it's better than ever before. You'll feel differences in haptic feedback based on surfaces you walk on, use the gyro controls to fly Astro's ship, and use the adaptive triggers for Astro's special abilities such as punching, jumping, climbing, and even more. Team Asobi really makes this game geared toward using all the DualSense's abilities, unlike other games out there, and it's a blast to do and works really well. I've never played any other games that utilizes the DualSense's features and makes the game more enjoyable and even better to play. Astrobot is an extraordinary 3D platformer that's really easy to control. Every movement, jump, punch, hover, and all actions feel very precise and responsive. In short, the controls are just perfect. 
and now he features all new special abilities, like puffing up and floating around like a balloon, having frog punching arms, and even a dog on your back that acts like a booster to push you forward and more. Each ability is unique and very different from the others, and utilizes the DualSense active triggers or the gyro. And all of the levels are built perfectly to utilize one of the special abilities and have amazing ways to do so. Honestly, some of the things Team Asobi came up with are just genius and work very well throughout this game and add to the immersion. And speaking of immersion, all the levels have amazing graphics with high detail. You can see individual grass strands, tree leaves, sand grains, rocks, animal hairs, reflections off objects and enemies, and my personal favorite, water and mud, which just looks really amazing. Thanks to its simple clean design and effective anti-aliasing, the game's image quality is never an issue and I never once noticed any ghosting or stuttering and it's constantly running at 60 frames per second. In the options menu, there are two HDR settings, default and bright. I found bright to look the best on my LG OLED. The colors really pop and everything has high detail. Black levels look nice and deep and not washed out at all, and I just love how on the Gorilla Land, the neon lights on buildings and signs really stand out and look good. Audio-wise, Astrobot sounds way better than Astro's Playroom. The Dolby Atmos on this game is truly top-notch. Honestly, I think it's one of the best sounding games I've ever heard. Each level's audio will immerse you in a 360 sound bubble of characters, enemies, objects, and music all around you. If you have a home theater, you'll definitely be delighted. I'm using a Sony HTA9, and I am blown away by this game's surround sound. At the Sky Garden, you can hear flamingos flying all around you at the beginning of the level, and when you go down the water slide, you can actually hear the water all around you and the rubber balls bouncing around you as well. Then, when you go underwater, the music and sounds are kind of lowered, making it sound like you're actually underwater. It's a really neat experience. On the Aztec Trail, you can hear birds chirping all around you, and when you trill the leaves, you can hear them blowing through each speaker. Same thing with Creamy Canyon. When you punch or trill the sprinkles, you can hear them flying all around you in the 360 sound bubble. And I just love how it uses the height channels often. Like at the beginning of the game with the PlayStation 5 ship flying, it sounds like it's flying right over your head. Or at the beginning of Construction Derby, flying around through crane objects, it sounds like you're flying right through them and they're going over your head. But the best thing is, is when bots you need to find are on high objects above you, you can actually hear them calling down to you and it sounds like they're right above you. I had to pause the game a few times because I thought my neighbors living above me were yelling at me to cut down the volume, but nope, it was just a bot calling down to be rescued. You can also punch enemies and send them flying, and it often sounds like they're flying right over your head. And after you defeat Mighty Chewie, 
The bots riding on the DualSense ship sound like they're flying right over you. The amazing Atmos surround sound effects in this game just add to the immersion, but then the audio sound coming from the DualSense controller itself just levels it up even more, making this game an epic experience. You can hear Astro's footsteps, punches, special abilities, bird spooping, and yes I just said bird spooping, and even more all through the DualSense controller speaker. And Astrobot sounds good through headphones using 3D audio as well. I used my AirPods Max and it sounded excellent, but I wouldn't recommend playing it this way because then you miss out on the audio from the DualSense controller. All in all, I think Astrobot is a perfect game with great controls, high resolution graphics, and fun levels to play through. Each level is bright with colors that really pop and textures that look amazing. So I'm going to give the gameplay and the visuals a blazing score of 10. The audio just makes Astrobot even more better and immersive. And I love how you can hear sounds all around you and even above you, and how the music thumps through all your speakers with deep bass. It just kicks ass. So I'm going to give it a blazing score of 10 as well. So have you played Astrobot yet? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Be sure to thumb up this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell icon to be notified when I upload more videos. And I'll catch you guys very soon in my next video. Peace out.